Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome to Rory McIlroy versus Ricky Fowler in a winner takes all skins match up to £500,000. This truly is a super match here at St Andrews Lynx Old Course. We are going to be playing the back nine. I will be playing as Ricky Fowler and the CPU PS4 will be playing as the one and only Rory McIlroy. So let's get right into this. Really looking forward to this. I do have the honours on the 10th hole. Very mild wind conditions here. Three mile per hour winds. Nice opening tee shot there from myself, aka Ricky Fowler. And that is just going to leave me a wedge, probably a pitch shot into the green. I would imagine Rory's going to outdrive me here. He has the superior stats and he is probably a bigger hitter in real life on the tour than Ricky Fowler. Rory's opted to put this down the left hand side. I think he's came up a little bit shorter than, than um, Ricky. Which surprises me. Could be tactical though. He's got 96 yards left to the flag stick. Tell you what, this looks like it could run out right at the pin. That's a fantastic approach shot from Rory. And I'm going to have to get this close to give myself an opportunity of a half, I would imagine. 65 yards out, so we drove him there by a good 20 yards, but it could have been tactical from the, the Irishman. Just looking for a little pitch and run here. Hopefully it checks up fairly quickly. We've got a four mile per hour wind that's going to move us to the right. Good swing light. Should check up and it does and we've really gave ourselves a tap in birdie there. Is Rory going to drain this for the half? This is missable. Seen these eight footers miss before. Not from Rory though. And I am going to have a two footer, three footer putt. Four and a half here to share the first skin. So it's all level after the first hole. None of us walking away with a skin there. So that skin will carry over into hole number 11 here. So I'm just looking to play the seven iron. Certainly don't want to be short of the flag stick here. If anything, I'd like to trickle past it. Got a three mile per hour wind that will add a little bit of distance and take us to the right also. On oh, the cleanest of lines. That needs to come down. Needs to come down. Is it going to hold the green? It does hold the green. That's actually not a bad place to be. Like I say, I didn't want to be short of the flag stick. It's going to give us an easier putt than we would have been if we were short. Oh, that's going right from Rory. He's going to have a nasty putt up that hill. That's going to be a nasty putt. The crowd enjoyed that one. Nope. He's given it a wee swirl of the club as well. So he's got a 35 foot putt. It is uphill as well. It's going to break extreme hard to the left. Isn't an easy putt this at all. Look at the galleries by the way. Oh, I tell you what. What an attempt that is from Rory. So we do have... An opportunity, I'd say we're about 12 feet out to pick up two skins here. We're 13 feet downhill. This one's going to turn slightly to the right. This would be for two skins, this one. I think it's £25,000 a skin. Get in. Oh, and we managed to drain the birdie. And we do pick up the skins. Oh, it's 50,000 for skins. Sorry, I do apologise. So we are currently 100,000 pound better off than what we were before we teed off today. We can drive this. Just looking to use the slope behind the, the pin here to get this ball coming back towards the flag stick because I'm imagining we'd be long here. That's a dirty swing. And with that, we are going a wee bit to the right. I would have liked to be more to the left there because that's going to come off back and to the right. But we'll take that. And the fans go absolute wild, as you would expect. What a tee shot that is 
from yours truly, Ricky Fowler. Rory should be able to reach this as well, no problem at all. I'd like to think he's going to get this close. Tell you what, has he caught all of that? that? That's in the bunker. This could well be in the bunker. That needs to get down. Oh, and he just lands short of the bunker. I've got no idea why Rory is not out driving me. Unless this is tactical from him. He's left the shelf. A shelf? He's left himself 32 feet. Oh, is he using the slope? That's going to come back fairly close, actually, in all fairness to him. It's not a bad shot. I do have another opportunity here, though, to steal this skin. This is for Eagle. An 11 footer. It's breaking both ways. Certainly breaking more to the right than it is to the left. So just going left edge of the cup here. Oh, and it burns over the edge there. That looked in all the way. So we've left a window of opportunity for Rory here. He's got an 8 footer for his birdie. Oh, wow, he's missed it. That is a poor putt from Rory. I'd imagine he's gave me this hole. As you can see, he's absolutely gutted. Look at his body language there. And we do manage to steal. We do steal that skin there. And we move up to $150,000 in the old hipper. If only this is for real money. So we should comfortably drive this bunker. We twirl the, the driver there from Ricky. He loves it. And that's going to be in prime location for our approach shot into the green here. So Rory should be comfortably carrying his bunker as well. That looks like it's going left. It is going left. He's carried the bunker, but he's going to be more to the left than I think he would have liked. So Rory not booming it down the, the fairways like I fully expected him to. Like I say, he's got the best stats in the game, as you would expect. Is the wind going to take this round? Distance was bang on. Just in of the line. But it's a good shot. It's probably going to be about 20 feet, 22 feet away from the pin. I'm 154 yards out. The wind's going to take us to the left. This 9 iron should have a little bit of run out on it. So I'm not adjusting anything. We're just playing it. Hopefully the wind's going to take us around. That's a really good clean strike. Oh, the wind is taking us around more than I expected. Yardage was good. And we're going to have about a 10 to 12 foot putt for birdie. I would imagine Rory's going to be on the honours first. He's got a 32 footer. He's further away than I expected. It's breaking both ways. This is a tough putt. It's no, I tell you what, it wasn't a bad effort at all. So I do have another opportunity to win the skin here. This is a 12 footer. There's not much turn in this one. I'm just taking my time in this one, watching the break. Just going slightly left middle of the cup. Going to play it firm. Hoping for a full swing here. And it turns right into the heart of the cup. And we do once again take the skin. And we move up to 220,000 for our earnings today. If only earning money was this easy. And we do step onto the long par 5 here on the 14th. But what a spectacular, this spectacular looking course this is on Rory McIlroy. St Andrews truly is the home of golf in my opinion. It's the best golf course in the world. Especially for tournament play. Let's see if Rudy, Rudy, let's see if Rory's going to bomb this down the fairway. The wind will take him slightly to the left. Looks like he caught all of that. He's just going... Once again, he's very fortunate to avoid that fairway bunker. I've got no idea why he's going so far left. There's no way to adjust the difficulty of the AI in this game, guys. It's just the CPU. I'd be honest, I expected more from Rory. That's going right. That's into the crowd. So he's having a pure hole here. 
Let's see if I can take advantage. We're not reaching the green here. This is just going to be a layup shot. That's a great strike. That should just come up short of the green and hopefully leave me a nice flop shot. There we go. We've played that well. Rory's going to have to get this close from the heavy rough. This is a tough shot. 94 yards out. Tell you what, he's right in line. This should run out well for him. What a fantastic shot that is from Rory. He's probably about six, seven feet away. He does have an opportunity for birdie. I'm either going to have to hold this or get it as close as possible for birdie. That wind will just hold me up a little touch. So we're just going slightly past the flag, 27 yards. It is uphill as well. Great execution. Get in. Oh, it's going to give us probably a six foot putt for birdie. I'd imagine it's Rory first. He's got a six footer. Very little movement in this one. And somehow he does manage to pick up birdie there after an atrocious second shot that found him in the heavy rough 94 yards out. I've got a four footer. This is just for the half now. So we do share this skin and that is going to be carried over into the 15th. Which is cart gate in. Short par four this one. Playing 447 yards. So it's going to be a, a good drive and a wedge. That's going more to the left. I don't understand how a three mile per hour, not even really diagonal wind has moved that as far to the left as it did. But the main thing is we're on the fairway. That's in the front left that you don't think comes into play, but if your second shot doesn't land the right distance. Rory taking his time in this one. Oh, that looks like it's going left again. I tell you what, that could be bunkered. Oh, he gets a fortunate kick. I, I really can't understand. It's like he's hitting his three wood or two wood off the tee. He's certainly not driving as well as what his stats suggest he should be. That is going right. He's failed to hit the green here. There's a hundred thousand pounds up for grabs on this skin as well. Second shot now for Ricky Fowler. So a four mile per hour wind. 142 yards out. That's confirmed, just a wedge. I'm going to go for the 48 degree. This should generate some backspin here, so we're just aiming this slightly past the flag. That wind will hold us up as well. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. Oh, what a fantastic shot that is, and that's going to give us about a three to four foot putt for birdie. Rory's basically got to chip this in. He's being aggressive. Oh, he's been far too aggressive. And that has probably went about 15 feet past the cup. I might not need to hold this birdie here for the win. Yeah, 14 footer. This is a tough putt. I tell you what, though, he's read that to perfection. And he's put a bit of pressure on me here. I would say I've got about a five foot putt at worst. Four footer. This is to win two skins that was carried over, and we do achieve that. And look at Ricky, he's absolutely delighted. So our earnings are now up to £360,000. We have won all six skins so far. Hole 16, once again a short par four. We're swinging well here, full of confidence. Look at that look of determination on Ricky's face. Unfortunately, Ricky's not had the best day. Years on the tour. He is a golfer who I would love to see climb up the, the world rankings and win some majors. That's a better tee shot from Rory McElroy. I would imagine he's probably only about 20 yards behind me with that one. Yeah, he's happy, he likes it. So he's 152 yards out. Got a five mile per hour wind. Oh, he didn't hesitate in this one. Yardage is going to be good. It's a very good shot from Rory. One of his better approach shots of the round. 
he's just not been on top of his game today. Very inconsistent from Rory. So once again, aiming past the pin, we will generate some backspin here. That's a great strike. Look at that. That is a laser beam. Oh, that needs to stay up. Stay up. Stay up. Oh, look at the backspin we generated there. That one was certainly for the camera. I think Rory could be just outside of me. He is with his 13 footer. This, one, this is a tough putt, though. Is that going to turn? What a putt that is from Rory McIlroy, and he's really put the pressure on me here. I've got an 11 footer. This one is not easy. I need to drain this to share this skin and carry it over. This is a tough putt. That needs to turn. It does turn right into the heart of the cup. And once again, the skin is carried over onto the next hole. And this is one of the most famous holes in golf. This is the road hole. The 17th at St. Andrew's Old Course. An absolute sublime hole, this one. Oh, it looks like the pin's right at the back, so we're going to have the road hole bunker in play here. Let's see what Rory does. It's hopefully he booms this one down. Come on, Rory, put the pressure on me. That looks like it's going to be in trouble. And he is, he's in the rough. And I cannot see him getting anywhere near the pin here. He might reach the front part of the green, but this road hole bunker is certainly now in play. This is a tough shot from Rory. I tell you what, this could be in the bunker. It needs to come down. Oh, it's checked up just before the bunker, and that is not an easy shot from there. Quite a difficult shot ahead for me here with Ricky. Certainly don't want to be short here. I'd like to land this just past the flag and leave myself a birdie opportunity because Rory is not in the best of positions. Don't like how that came back. Oh, I pulled that a wee bit to the left, I would imagine. This one has a chance to get close. Didn't seem to deviate left. That needs to sit. That's a very good shot from there. Absolute delighted. Probably looking about an 11 foot putt for but This is a tough shot from for Rory. Tell you something, it's not a bad outcome. He's going to have. A par opportunity here. It's going to be a tough par putt. This is a 13 footer. A lot of movement to the right as you can see. Oh, he's broke my heart. Wow, and I tell you something, I do not have an easy putt here with Ricky. What a putt from Rory. His putting has been on fire today. I need to match that putt. Or he will be winning two skins which I can't grudge him oh I've missed that oh no sorry he got a par so this is another skin that's going to be carried over and I think this is three skins now that are on the line going down to 18 so this is really making for a a very entertaining final hole here I have won six skins and there is three skins up for grabs here guys on this final hole which is a short par four a lot on the line here. Oh, that's a fantastic tee shot. We should just stay up on that mound. We have done prime location, really, to go and pitch a shot onto the 18th green. Let's see what Rory does. He's not been on fire today off the tee box. Very inconsistent. Tell you what, though, it looks like he's nailed that. Probably one of his better drives of the round. There's not going to be much difference in it. He's probably going to be about 20 yards back. But let's see what Rory does here. He's 84 yards out. Tell you what, that's all over it. That is all over it. What a shot that is. Now, I've got no idea what's going to happen here if we half this. Share this skin again. 
Will it go down to the first again? I've got no idea. I've never been in a situation from this. We're 73 yards out. I need to get this close. I'm going to play this very attacking here. Try and get this as close to the flag stick. Or go one better and hold this out. Rory's probably about three feet away. This is for three skins. Needs to come down. Needs to come down. Oh my goodness. What a shot that is. There you go. We absolutely whitewash Rory McIlroy with nine skins and earn £500,000 at St Andrews Links. That is it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please hit the like button. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And until the next video, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.